Okay, the Acme Rescue Strut comes in five sizes. 12 to 15, 19 to 25, 25 to 36, 37 to 58, and 56 to 88 inch. This one is uh, 25 to 36 in its closed form, it's 25 inches. In its fully adjusted form, it goes to 36. Capacity on the Acme strut, up to four feet, gives you 20,000 pound workload with a four to one. So up to four feet with a workload of one to one gives you an 80,000 pound strut. The Acme strut has got a piston end and a static end. The static end is where the actual air chuck is, or the nipple. The Acme strut has got no top or bottom. The only thing that tells me that this is the top is the orientation of this label. On the label, it tells you all about the rule of thumb with extensions and all the capacities of the strut at two to one or four to one. If you take a look at the yellow stripe on the side, that stripe the length of that stripe gives you the length of the adjustment that's in the Acme strut itself. It's got some relief holes on top so it don't over pressurize and shoot out of the tube. Normally the air chuck and air in the Acme strut is used for trench rescue, but we can also attach the VSK controller to the Acme strut for vehicle rescue. Now the Acme rescue strut comes with Four different size extensions, 6 inch, 12 inch, 24 inch, and 36 inch. Rule of thumb with the extensions is maximum of three feet of extension, but no more than two extensions. So I can put a 12 and 24 together, or I can just put a 36 on the strut itself. Extensions only go on the static end of the strut or where the air chuck or nipple is. Never put the extension on the piston end. Then I can attach my head and attach my base. Ready to stabilize.